So in our page, we started to do a bit of customization. We were able to create hybrid blocks by mixing two like blocks together. But now we really want to add in our own assets and do some styling around those as well. So in our editor, let's start focusing on changing that main background image. And the place we'll do that in is this div with a class of background. So how do we go about customizing this? Well, within the static folder, there's a less folder. And within that less folder, there's a file called style.less. And when we open that up, we can see that it has all of the less files that we need to customize this web design. So below where all these are being imported, we'll start declaring our own custom styling. So let's start out by targeting the header nine, and we'll also target the background within it. And we'll change the background image, and we'll set it to header bg.jpg. And then we'll also set the opacity to one to make sure that it's solid. So since I have my less to set up to compile into the CSS folder, it'll overwrite the style.css file. And then also since in my index.html, I'm referencing it right here at the top, it'll apply every time I save in my style.less file. And actually I just realized that the file is not going to load properly because we need to say dot dot slash dot dot slash. And what that means is we need to get out of the less folder and then we also need to get out of the static folder and then go into the images folder and that's where our header bg.jpg file is. So this is the image we're trying to showcase and it looks pretty good, but there are a couple problems with it. I'm having a difficulty seeing some of the links in the navigation because of that blue color. So we need to fix that. And then also down here, we can't really see where there's baseball cards. So we'll fix that a little bit too. And also I really want to showcase this image. So I want to make it bigger. When the user hits this page, I really want this photo to be all they see. So let's focus on fixing that. So the first thing I actually want to do is I want to change some common styles. So I'm going to target the container and any column small 12. And then I want to change its max width to 940 pixels. And essentially what that's going to do is it's going to shrink in the container of our screen. Currently it's around 1200 pixels. And after this, it'll shrink in all the way to 940 pixels. And since I'm shrinking this in, I need to write some styles for my header too. So I'm going to target the nav and then the LIs within that nav. And I'm going to set a margin left of 25 pixels. And then I want to target all the anchor tags within those LIs. And I want to set their font weight to 500 so they can be read a little easier. And I'm going to change their font size to 19 pixels. And I'm going to change their letter spacing to zero. And then I'm going to set a hover state for them. And I'm going to change the color to 2A, 2A, 2A. And then below that, I want to set an active state for any LIs. And I want to target the A inside the LI. And I want to set that color to also that 2A, 2A, 2A. And ideally, we could set this into a variable inside of here. But for now, since this is a quick demo, we're just going to be writing in the colors as hex. And then also anytime anything's hovered over, we'll also set the color to 2A. And then down here, we'll also target the brand. We'll target the image and we'll set the first child selector and we'll set that margin to zero. And actually we need to move this brand up one bracket because we want it to be within the header two bracket. And now we'll go and check this out in the browser. So now you can see that we've pushed everything in by changing our container to 940 pixels. You also can see that we've applied a heavier font weight and that when we hover over these links, that they're black. And also we fixed the alignment issue between our brand image and our navigation links. But we're still having an issue with how big this image is. We want it to take up the full page. So let's focus on that. So let's go down to our header nine and let's add some padding. We'll set the padding top to 600 pixels and we'll set the padding bottom to 90 pixels. And we also want to focus on those navigation steps. They couldn't be read too well, so we want to make those a little bit more bold. So we'll target the nav steps. We'll set the font weight to bold. We'll target the anchor tag. And we'll change the opacity to 0.6. And then we'll set a hover state. And we'll set the opacity to 0.8. So now you can see that we have our image taking up the entire page. And it looks really great. And when we scroll down, we can see the great people and the baseball nav steps pretty clearly. 
So in this tutorial, we were able to incorporate our own image assets into the startup framework. We were also able to write some styles that increase the size of our image assets. And we also changed the container width of the page. It was originally at 1200 pixels and we shrunk it down into 940 pixels. And we're also able to change the styles to make our changes a bit more visible. In the next part of this tutorial, we'll go through these content sections and apply our own custom styling to those as well. So just like always, I'm David East. If you have any questions or want something explained in more detail, just leave a comment or you can send me a tweet.